What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video where today we are finally going to find out the golden answer with does more budget equal better video with Blackpink and Pink Venom. Now this is a highly anticipated video, especially after two years of Blackpink not making anything. So I would just say, let's jump right into the video and see what the video is actually about. Like always, this is an analysis. And guys, if you do enjoy the content you like or you're about to see, make sure you hit that like button to show some support. And if you want to take the extra step, make sure to press the subscribe button. I would just say, let's jump into the video and see what it's all about. Wow. Hold up, hold up. I just want to say I love this scene. It seems whatever this instrument is doing, and now I know that this is actually a culturally Korean instrument, you know, it's from their culture. What I do like is that it's the idea of, you know, the music is being pumped into these people. You have all these veins basically going into the people. Let's see if we can get a good shot on that. For example, here, and basically it's the pink venom going into all of these people. It's such an awesome reference. And it's also very nice that you're actually going to see this from the very start rather than somewhere in the middle and you have to guess it. It's very obvious. Nice. Okay, before it actually starts, I just want to say, did they just come in with a monster truck? I mean, that is super cool. But the one thing I don't like, and uh, you guys might be complaining about it, the wall is... Uh what is it? Made out of styrofoam and uh, it did, you're basically missing the weight. But still, it's super nice what they did here. Just this bashing through. Nice. Even with the, 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 the fangs basically being on the monster truck, really nice. Wow. I just want to say I really love uh, this element here itself. It's such a complex stage because if you just look at the doors, it seems like they they custom made them to make sure that they work accordingly and correctly. It's such a nice element. Like you have to imagine whoever designed the set design also designed just to make sure that the doors open. Really nice. Oh, guys, did you actually see that? Did you guys see the pink in the eyes? Wow. And they really went that extra mile to make sure that they want to show that pink venom running through the people's blood. Really nice. A bit of a, a weak element here from Rose. So let's actually go back to it again. So in this particular element, you know, when you have the, yeah, whatever, I cannot sing, so please don't bash me for that. But normally when you see something like that on screen, you would also expect someone to really blow out their lungs for it, you know? But this it just seems like she's doing the movement because she's, you know, pre-recording and she's just making the sound for the video, like she's just mimicking it. But maybe a little bit more energy here, Rose. Maybe could do a little bit better. Because it, it shows like the voice is full of energy, but you just don't feel that same element. You don't feel that same element uh, when you watch the video. It's really beautifully shot though. This is very different than what I expected actually. Okay, before we continue, am I the only one who thought of this? But I thought that the bass drop would be a little bit more evil, like a little bit more lower. But then it just uplifts itself with these high melodies. Very interesting. But I do love the set design. I hope that this is all real. I think this is all real. I have to look at the behind the scenes to really analyze it. But there's one way to find out. And that's actually look at the behind the scenes of this entire video. So if you do want me to analyze that as well to see how the video was made, please, let's do it together. It's going to come out as soon as the video is out. And uh, I'm really excited because it's nice to just learn all these small elements like what is real what is not real and you really learn like where the budget goes into you know especially when you watch these behind the scenes so 
the song itself is very catchy. It, ha- it has a very feminine touch to it again. I, I mean, that's classical for Blackpink. I like that. But what I also really think is phenomenal here is literally how everything is filmed. There are so many shots where it goes from a group element to a little bit of a uh, personal element, you know, a little bit um, getting a little bit in touch with the single members, which is just very, very nice. And I like that. I like when you mix those elements up because it's like, okay, group, Rose, group, Jenny, group, you know, it, it, it's very nice when you can see all these small little elements fit nicely together. So the camera work here is top, top notch. Like this is where I think a lot of the budget actually went into, plus the set design. Ah, really nice. They actually filmed this in a real life location. It's beautiful. Really cool. What I also like a lot about this entire set and how it's filmed is that they utilized it as much as possible, getting as many different angles as possible. Sometimes it's on the corner, sometimes it's like here on the car. Very nice, you know, it's about utilizing as much of your set as possible because you can just make your set look so much bigger and also just emphasize as if it was a real place to go to, you know, that's what you want. And it just makes it look all that more major, like much, much bigger. Also, can we just give a, a hats off, you know, to all these girls just freaking owning it. Also, really beautiful set to side. The sets really go quick, so you have to pay attention. But the one thing that I really like about the set is that you have these pillars, and then in the background, you also have the moon. Again, it seems as if we're looking at like a, a goddess of some sort. And with this goddess, there is she's holding the power of the moon as if she's bigger than everything. We got the bonsai. Maybe that's supposed to be like a miniature tree. Really nice. It really just gives me this goddess feel from the entire, from this person in particular, or this entire set design. So the one thing I don't understand with this particular set is, let me see if I can pause it, because again, it's really quick. This is classical for Blackpink, but there we go. So I don't know if you picked it up, but there seems to be like a rock guitar in it, but I don't hear it. So why even have it in the video? You know, like we saw that first instrument and that, that makes sense because that's the sound where it's all coming from. But now we see this element and I'm thinking... Why is it even there? Like, you don't hear it. So acoustically and visually, it doesn't match. It's 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 a bit weird. It's a weird combination, to be honest. I can really imagine a lot of people wanting to own this choreography. Also, can we again look at the set? The set is beautiful man they really went out of the way to make as many sets as possible that are just not small but massive it looks powerful again it's giving me that vibe as if we're mixing you know old school with new school which is very nice and with old school i really mean like the middle ages that type of era and new school the today's era really really nice and powerful i like it and also the color differences you know everyone is visible the elements that everyone is wearing fantastic Man, the shots are really quick. You know, I, I would complain about it, but you guys actually explained to me that this is quite normal for Blackpink, and I just learned to accept it rather than just to enjoy it. Um, because for me, it's just a little bit too snappy. You know, it's sometimes really hard for me to pay attention. If we just look at this scene again, the ending scene, it goes really, really quick, you know? Just look. Click, click, click. Just really quick. And again, is it too quick? It's questionable. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. Maybe you like it. Maybe you don't like it. For me, I'm a more of a guy that wants to anticipate everything on this shot. And it's hard when things just snap by, you know? So this scene is so much better for Rose. I think this fits her much more. No instrument, no props that don't really fit the scene. Nice and powerful. Great. Really nice. As if she's coming out of hell. Ah, this is what I was waiting for. This fits the entire theme completely. 
wow, can we just give some pressure or pleasure or whatever you want to call it? Can we just admire this entire set? It's beautiful. It makes me think a little bit of Jurassic Park, that kind of feel to it. Really nice. And then adding a bit of pink to it, you know, that pink venom kind of look to it, you know, with a little bit of pink in the water and everything. Amazing. They really made sure that the pink venom is visible throughout the entire MV, that it's just there for you to admire. Beautiful. And also water scenes, they're my favorite, so it's already 10 out of 10 for me. Really nice outro as well. Wow, what a video to take in. It's a lot for your money. But the question is, what do I actually think of Blackpink and Pink Venom? You know, to me, if you know, if I have to be honest, it's more or less like that same syndrome with I have a lot of shots, so I want to include as much as possible in my MV. Now, I just learned in terms with Blackpink and all of their artists, this is just their style and you just need to accept it. But is this the perfect choice? No, because sometimes the scenes just snap by a little bit too much. And that is the worst for me you know it's hard for me to admire a certain scene a certain part if it just snaps by like i have to go back again and watch it and maybe this is the formula maybe they want me to go back so i can look at it and admire it maybe that's the goal i don't know but that is for me the worst about this video the good thing about it i love it i think this is a really really powerful video it has a lot of elements to it that i'm like man it blows me away especially when it comes to the film quality when it comes to the production quality of the entire sets they are beautiful it just blows my mind away what they actually did here i can completely understand where most of the budget went to, into the set design the videography and making sure that everything is just massive and it looks good i do wish that they did find the harmony still with finding the right shot so they don't have to throw in everything this was a little bit of my my fear before watching the video but it's fine they still did their best and they really came out with a strong video i mean this video already has 37 million views within the first couple of hours it blows my mind away like it's just amazing to see how far Blackpink has gotten. And I really think that, yeah, this sets a new standard in quality and production. They really took it to the next level and making sure that everything looks amazing in all of their sets. It's a beautiful set design. And also, girls, you know it, but uh, you always rock in all your videos because, hey, that's how you are. You are professionals at the end of the day. You know, you're not just a new group. You guys know exactly what you're doing. But yeah, guys, uh, this is my analysis on Blackpink and Pink Venom. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that like button. If you do want me to look at the behind the scenes, then please, please, please make sure you hit the subscribe button as well and we can look at that video all together and analyze what actually happened in the behind the scenes. Where did the money actually go to? What is actually happening there? And maybe we can also see a little bit more of Blackpink themselves in their natural habitat. But for now, guys, I just want to say thank you very much for stopping by. But I am out. So stay awesome, like always.